As I approach the conclusion of editing the final draft with Joyful Warrior, I find myself reflecting on both the journey of this book and my own life's path. When I first embarked on this endeavor, life was in a particularly great place on all fronts. Fitness, finances, family, and my faith. Throughout my 43 years, I'm going to be 43 on January 19th. Throughout my 43 years, I've weathered numerous challenges since birth, gathering a wealth of wisdom and knowledge that I've shared in my books. These experiences have deeply informed my understanding of what it means to be a joyful warrior, thriving through various difficult seasons of life. However, as this book neared completion, my life presented a new set of challenges that tested me both personally and professionally. My business faced hurdles in a variety of ways to the point that I was considering selling everything and moving on after years of progressive success. Additionally, I felt a shift in my purpose, feeling called to a faith-centered career in ministry, yet struggling with fundraising and gardening support, questions about my place in God's plan surface, adding to my introspection. In my personal life, too, there have been serious trials. For 10 weeks, a persistent cough originating from my left lung has left me drained, challenging my workouts and casting a shadow of my physical well-being. Not COVID, by the way. Despite thorough medical examinations and tests revealing great numbers and you're super healthy, the physical ailment seemingly out of nowhere for this healthy guy on paper has become a part of my journey. My marriage and other relationships outside my immediate family have also faced their tests. It's not my intention to cast negative light on my loved ones, my wife, kids, parents, siblings, or other family members. Rather, I want to acknowledge these challenges as part of my journey. Amidst these trials, there have been moments of joy and even triumph. Many of these challenges I recognize lie within my control and in some cases are a result of my own actions. This realization brings me two key insights. A testament to resilience. These challenging times, both physical and emotional, are not just obstacles, but opportunities. They serve as a testament to a higher power's belief in my strength. Facing and overcoming these hurdles has equipped me to be a better teacher, someone who doesn't just preach, but practices the principles laid out in this book. Number two, living proof of the joyful warrior's path. These experiences affirm my qualifications to talk about being a joyful warrior. It's one thing to speak from my past experiences, but it's another to navigate through storms while penning a guide to how to endure them. This makes my message not just retrospective, but immediate and real. As I write this, it's January 3rd, and the new year has brought with it a sense of hope and renewal. The year has started on an incredible note with new clients and substantial donations like 25000 in my mission with FCA. My wife and kids are thriving, connecting in meaningful ways, setting weekly expectations, and getting back to the basics, like having fun, being present, and listening. These blessings underscore the cyclical nature of life's challenges and joys, reinforcing the message of Joyful Warrior. That resilience, faith, and joy are not just concepts, but lived experiences that guide us through every storm. In sharing this, my hope is not to draw sympathy, but to offer solidarity, to connect with you the reader, who might be navigating your own storms. If this book can light a path or offer a tool that aids in your journey, then every word written will have served its purpose. So that is why I do what I do.